Hello, Wesley Freedom family. I'm Pastor Jenny, and I offer this pastoral word as we journey into the fall season. I imagine that you, like myself and Pastor Ian and, and our staff and team here at Wesley Freedom are eager to step into a new season. You wanna step out of a time where we were largely defined by uh, community spread of COVID-19 and, and for many days, months, year, isolated from one another. Even as we're eager to begin this new season, I know that uh, concerns over COVID-19 are once again rising, especially with the highly contagious variants that are moving into our community. So I wanted to, to share this word with you, um, just a pastoral word, a word of love for you, um, that I hope will help nourish you and care for you as you are making decisions for the fall, and then for you to know how we're seeking to move forward together as a community. My first encouragement for each of you is for you to prayerfully discern, welcome God's wisdom, God's clarity, God's courage, to help you decide how your family will engage in community this fall. We know it's, it's hard to decide. You are weighing the threat of illness for you or perhaps your children um, with some very real social and emotional and educational um, and even practical needs. We just encourage you to pray together as a family um, to really discern how you are called to engage, what will help you to be well, and then seek peace in your decisions. If we live in constant flux, constant decision fatigue, we become exhausted and overwhelmed. We might even shut down. So seek God's clarity and then seek peace with the decisions that you have made, that you can live into those decisions with health. We also encourage you to be vaccinated if you qualify for a vaccination. Uh, we know that this week our vaccinations have received full FDA approval, and we're grateful for that. It gives us more confidence that they are a good tool. So we encourage you for yourself, for your health, and for our broader community to consider being vaccinated. I have a, a little story to share with you that helps me understand the value of those vaccines. And I'm hearing this story over and over nearly every day in our local Carroll County community. One of our leaders went to a funeral of someone that she loved. Um, while at that funeral, five members of her family, four of them vaccinated and one not, contracted COVID-19. The four of them that had been vaccinated, including an elderly person and a person with serious health concerns, they were very moderately ill for a number of days. The one member of their family that wasn't vaccinated spent weeks in the hospital with serious illness. This is just a reminder to me of, of how powerful that tool of vaccination is to keep us from getting profoundly sick um, and also to help prevent the continued mutation of this disease. So if you haven't been vaccinated, consider doing so. Here at Wesley Freedom, our priority is to offer space for all who wish to be in person in ministry to do so as safely as possible. So again, our priority is to be able to be together. We do not envision any shutdowns in the season ahead. We are committed to being here for you, your spiritual health, your emotional health, your communal existence is so valuably important. So we're making decisions that help us be together as safely and consistently as possible. For this reason, we ask that at least for as long as our community has substantial spread of COVID-19, that everyone participating in our ministries indoors would wear a mask. And we've encouraged our ministry leaders, whenever they can, to take a class or a meal outside to give those opportunities to see each other smile. We value your health and the consistency of our gatherings. So those masks help to slow down the spread. They also help prevent quarantine. So this is a big deal for us as a church community. By putting our masks on, and keeping three feet or more of social distance, we remove largely the risk of quarantine. 
So say you have your child in a Sunday school class. If all the kids are masked and they're at least three feet apart, then if one person is diagnosed with COVID-19 on Monday, we need to notify the class, but there won't likely be a mandatory quarantine of all those students. So the other 10 kids in that class can still go to school on Tuesday, most likely. If the children aren't masked, it could invoke a mandatory quarantine for all 10 families. I know as Matthew is going back to school, our goal is to have him in school every day possible. We are far more likely to do that if we minimize the occasions where he is unmasked in close proximity to other kids. We want to make sure Sunday school and worship and youth group are spaces where we can be together that won't push us into quarantines. So we ask when you're here, mask up, keep that three feet of social distance, whether it's in a pew or in a classroom, that will protect you from having to be put in quarantine. As your pastor, you're helping to protect me. If I'm together with you and we're unmasked in close proximity, God forbid you would get COVID, I would have to quarantine. And that would mean that was a week of time, perhaps, that I couldn't visit anybody in the hospital. I couldn't offer a funeral. I couldn't even show up to preach. So by us all wearing our masks, we're helping to keep everybody in the game. We're helping to keep our families working and going to school, helping to keep all of our staff and all of us in ministry regularly. I know that it is challenging and frustrating to have to put our masks back on. I am with you. I'm finding it's kind of harder the second time than even the first. But our priority is to be together, to minister to each other safely in ways that minimize illness and minimize our need to quarantine. So thank you so much for listening to this message. And I just want to pray for you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we welcome your wisdom. Give wisdom to the pastors of this church, to the leaders of this church, that we will be guided by your clarity and your courage. God, help us to rise and engage in communities in ways that are safe and appropriate. God, I pray for every family hearing this message. Give them clarity. Give them peace. Remove the anxiety of these days that they can step into this fall season with confidence and hope and a sense of, of newness. God, we pray health in our community, health for all of our children, our teachers, and all who we love and whom we serve. Thank you, Lord, for all the ways we can be together in your service. Amen, and God bless you.